asked them to tell me what their goals were. This one particular young lady said that she wanted to have two kids. So I said, so are you going to have a husband? And she said, nope. And I said, please tell me why you would choose in the eighth grade to have a goal of having two kids and not be married. She said, because if I'm married to him, I can't collect child support. And then she said, um, why should I marry a man that I have kids by? He might have issues or something. He might be on drugs. And I said, well, if he's too bad to be your husband, do you really think he's going to make a better father? Now, this has been a problem in America for a long time. Since the 70s, they say the U.S. has the highest um, cases of single parenting. And so, when you look at the map, it says America has 23%. Um, Europe has 21, uh, 17, 18. So, they all are in the 20%. Now, look at China. China has under 3%. North Africa, under 3%. South Africa, 6%. You see, because these fathers or will not collect, um, or this, these, these mothers will not collect child support, and the fathers are not leaving the home. You have in America and these European nations in Russia that, um, and it's mainly in America and maybe in the UK and England, um, where these um, governments is allowing these women to control the household and the children and they have rights over the children and they can keep uh, abort the children or keep the children or use the children as a, a pawn to get money from some man and so since they made uh, that a foundation in 1969 and 70 the women they already know what they're going to do in the 8th grade when they first get grown at 12 and 13 and able to have children they understand that I can get money from the government, money and housing. It's just like the, the, when they learn that they can have children um, at 12 and 13 and they can become a wife to a man that will give them housing, that will give them money. See, in the ancient world, women was being, they was virgins and they was being uh, uh, bargaining and uh, pretty much given from to the uh, to a man from their father because the father wanted the max amount, so he would want her to stay a virgin, so he can get the maximum bride price. The bride price would be high if she was a virgin, and so. This is how things used to be ran before so-called Antichrist, the, the man of sin, the son of destruction, came on the scene and changed the laws of the world, how things are running. What's that Daniel? Let's get that out of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7. It says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and law. So when he changed these laws of the uh, how things are supposed to be ran, now you have people who don't know what's going on, and he's making a major situation. Now let's get the foundation of what he's, what he have done by changing the times and laws. Because he got these young women wanting to live a lifestyle that is not ordained to them. Uh, what is it? 1929. 
It says, do not prostitute your daughter or cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. Now, this, this fourth kingdom uh, was talked about in Revelation 18. And how it's described is exactly what's going on. They, they prostitute the women. They cause them to be whores because they don't want to stay with one man. Because it's going to benefit them because the government is going to give them money to leave this man and get with another man and leave that man and get with another man. See, and they just trying to get pregnant, find somebody that'll be stupid enough to get them pregnant. Uh, let's get 17. And they describe this kingdom, verse 5, it said, and this is to America, the one who's uh, pushing this uh, single parent or single women household. It said, and upon her forehead was written, was the name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. See, there's a bunch of single mothers. See, calling them to be whore and abominations of the earth. And it's an abomination of God for them to do this. That's why he said in Leviticus, it's going to cause the, the whole land to be full of whoredom and wickedness. Okay, and let's look at how serious it was uh, to be a whore. Uh, was it 19? Or was it 21? Let me try 21. Nine. It says, And the daughter of any priest, if she profaned herself by playing the whore, she profaned her father, she shall be burned with fire. See? This is the reason that this place is going to be burnt with fire. Let's get there. Revelation uh, 17 and 16. It says, talking about uh, these other nations. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. See, they're going to hate America, the land of whoredom and wickedness. And shall make her desolate and naked. And shall eat her flesh. See it's going to be cannibalism. Right before. Uh, when the famine hit. People are going to be eating each other. And, and the women are going to be some of the main ones. Getting ate alive. And it says. And burn her with fire. Then those nuclear missiles. Going to drop. See if some don't. Let's get that in second natural. See if some don't die by the. By the um, hunger. Where is it? Second Ezra 22, 16 and 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. See, if you don't starve to death, uh, it's something else going to happen. And the other, and that is, and the other that escape the hunger, so if they don't die, from hunger uh, shall the sword is destroyed. So those nuclear missiles is going to destroy those who um, escape the hunger. Let's look at what it, look how we know that is nuclear missiles. Uh, verse 13. It says, For strong is he, well, for strong is his right hand that beneath the bow, his arrows that he shoot shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the end of the world. So you can't shoot an arrow to the end of the world from one end of the earth to the other end. See, so only arrow, something that is similar to an arrow that you can shoot across the world is a nuclear missile. See, and, and if they don't die from the famine, they don't die from this war. Okay. Let's get uh, Micah. Because see, Micah tells it straight. 
Because these people went to these Christianity churches and, and they didn't understand what whoredom is. It ain't like they didn't know what whoredom was. And the white man said, okay, we'll give you money uh, if you just sleep around with men. And we'll make him pay your child support and we'll give you government assistance. See, that ain't something uh, that they heard and they didn't hear about being a, 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 a whore sleeping with multiple men. Look what it said. Then she, that is my enemy, shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me. See, they, with those little girls in eighth grade now, them jokers know that the teacher asked them and said, listen, so you mean tell me you're going to have two kids with no husband? See, she already done went over that part. She don't care about no husband. She done eliminated that crap in her head. He's so shame going to cover her when she see that she was sitting around being wicked as hell. It says, where is uh, shame should cover them which say unto me, where is your where is the Lord your God? See, the only person that, that's going against what they doing is God. But they saying, man, what did you talk about? A husband. And who said it? God said it? Oh, well, where he at then? Because I'm going to get this check. They say, my eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trotting down in the mire of the street. See, they, when that famine hit and all hell break loose in these streets, and people go to scrambling for food and living like uh, straight savages in their mind. Um, then this is what's going to happen. They say, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. See, they ain't got no care right now because you got the police station. You got the so-called white man's government giving them money to be prostitutes and whores. Verse 10, it says, many days and years shall ye be troubled. See, it's been many years now that these uh, domestic violent cases has been shooting to the roof. South America, uh, the women has been murdered every two, uh, every two hours. So it's been many years that they've been in trouble. It says, many days and years shall ye be troubled. You women, you careless women, for the vengeance shall fail. See, they, especially in South America, they think they so pretty and they can get the so-called white man can go down there and prostitute with them. Their own men, they can prostitute with him. The black man go down there and prostitute with them because the vengeance, they, how they look, is so appealing to them, to the men. So the men go down there. They got a big, great gathering. Look at what they say. The vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. See, people gathering, trying to go down now and see these pretty women. And the women are prostituting themselves with these uh, these men coming from America. And uh, the gathering is going to fail because when this famine hit, ain't going to be nobody looking for no women. See, they're looking for food now. They're looking to survive. They stomach gonna control their brain. See, they ain't already control their brain, but they eating good right now. So they ain't thinking about no uh, stomach too much. The stomach stay, uh, it's sustained, I would say. Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's get First Timothy 5, oh, 06. It said, but she, talking about a woman, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. See, they searching for pleasure. You got the uh, common woman. She looking at the women that's uh, getting with these men because they got money. And they going all in these rap exotic vacations, uh, these luxurious vacations and all in these hotel rooms with uh, pretty looking pools and uh, good scenery and going to Dubai and all this crap and being super whores. See, they looking at that and thinking that these people are living. 
See, but they not living. They dead while they living. Because see, all that's going to come to an end. And it's going to be a tragic end. See, he's just giving, giving them rope so they can hang themselves. See, that's all he's doing. Because it ain't been that long that it's been going on. Uh, on the level that it's going on. Because it's been going on in America for a long time. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. It said, there should be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So he already told them the foundation. But see, the so-called real devil, the real deceiver, have deceived them like they, they did in the garden. Because they got that same adversarial spirit that Cain had and that the serpent uh, nation had. Uh, let's see, Second Thessalonians. Talk about the man of sin uh, being re uh, revealed. But look at what it said in verse nine. It said, "Even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, with all the deceitfulness of unrighteousness, and them that perish." Because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. See, they didn't want to have uh, one man and have children from that one man and follow that one man and be under that one man. It was just too much for them. See, they didn't love that the truth about that. They wanted to go have multiple, multiple men boss, boss him around. Let's get that before I close. They want to get to some simp and boss him around. It says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to error, and destroy the way of your path. So this is why these people are destroyed. In America, because the women is ruling over them due to the government and, and the so called white man giving them these privileges, setting them up for failure. But this is why we see, let's see if I can get that map. This is with the data showing since 2018. When everything was rolling good in America, you had these um, single mothers um, pretty much at a high level. Because another thing, and though that 23%, 90% uh, of it probably is the Latinos and uh, blacks, the so called Latinos and blacks the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Israel, uh, probably 90% of that, 23%, because the, the other nations have their men in the houses because the men can sustain, sustain themselves and afford to have uh, women. Uh, and they've been affording to have that since past the 70s. See, and most of the companies and the businesses uh, go back to slavery, so their children always was able to sustain themselves and have businesses, and, and women will get with these men. But it's just in the Latino and the black community where they was always red lined and uh, pretty much serving the other nation where they wouldn't. Uh, pretty much they would be struggling trying to support the women and they, and they gave it a major booster in 1970 when they took the trade school trade and um, skills out of the high school see they stopped giving them skills for free now you got to go pay for a skill and you got to have paperwork to show that you can do that skill uh, with experience 
So once they laid that down in 1970, most of the children that came from these single mothers, it was a wrap. None of them was able to uh, sustain a household on a, a high level where well, one would, would go in that situation um, willingly and submit to that situation. They took the better route. Let me go with the government and getting multiple baby daddies. That's a better route for me. But I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shah, Rosh Shem Yahweh Double honest to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to these late worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.